that what I think it is over there on that tree? Yeah. Yep, it sure is. That stressed out tree is covered in them. See how it's bent over, stressed? That's probably what makes the, yeah, look. Holy crap. Mother load in the winter time. Anybody knows what those are? Remember, it's on the tree. So, let's see how we can get over here. God, I can't believe I spotted that all the way over there. I'm blind. Hey, those are oysters. Dang. Yeah, that's good. Good find. <laughs> What's left of them? Let's see. Yeah. Excuse me. Let's see if it smells like a... Yeah, those are oysters. I just ate one raw. However, not recommended, but it's been winter time. Yeah, dude. That's the bomb right there. They closed schools down in Detroit over that kind of action. I would too if I was starving to death in the city. As you can see, the tree's stressed out. So we're looking at some plural, like a pleuroteus, pleuroteus. There's another one called pulmonarius, and then there's another one. So I just call this one the oysters. But yeah, I just ate that one raw. There we go. That's what we're looking at. Look at the bottom. See it? And most of your fungus is on the trees. If they're growing up like this, look at that. Oh, man. Wish I had my ladder. But uh, as you can tell, these are, it's a pretty good deal. Even though it's winter time, we'll keep these. Ugh. They'll grow back, kids, don't worry. Looks like there's plenty of nutrition on the tree. Ugh. Let's see if there's any more of them. See, look, there's some funguses over there. Look, we got some of our little bracket fungus friends. Dang, these are pretty good probably a couple months ago but the winter time preserves them so you know if it's the winter you can see the snow is still on the ground and you're foraging around see here's the host tree so you're going is that a hardwood of some sort it looks like a can't quite tell I don't have my I got my glasses on but they don't work very well so here we go we have the oysters going all the way up this tree and all the way down here. So we got us a pretty good little find. Gosh, I can't even identify the trees anymore. We'll just put that in our little our hoodie hoodie pocket. Look around so we can find some more. I don't see any more because this tree is not like any of the other ones next to it. As you notice, the color is different. See the color is different? Probably because it's dead, but... Uh, yeah. It's got a lot of stuff up top, man. Dang, look at all them shrooms up there. Boy, I could be eating good today. But we're going to go look for some more, so hang on. All right, here's some more footage. On the other side of the tree. There we go. So look at that. I don't know if you can see it's kind of dark today, but... That's when I do my best work, supposedly. And so we have some here, you know, at eye level for short people like me. And I just ate one raw, so give me about an hour to see if I feel any effects. But if you look at that, that is our friend. That is the oysters. <laughs> and like I said, I was just doing some uh, reading the other day on a uh, news break about some school in Detroit. They had them growing inside of the school. And I'm sure there was some mushroom action inside the school because it's a classroom. You know, I'm sure somebody brought some funguses. Let's see if we can get over here. Oh, 
Oh God. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's some more. See? Uh. Now, I know these aren't poisonous because they're not growing on. The, remember the floor fungi? I have problems with the floor fungi for some strange reason. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Now we got a handful for dinner. But, as you can tell, we got a whole tree full. And uh, I'm not going to take them all because, you know. And as you can tell, look at that. That's what's left of a, yeah, a jelly fungus. So, if the jelly fungus will grow on that tree, more than likely so will these. So let's go and see if we can find some more. I don't see any. Just off the top of my head. But look at the, uh, look how the tree's leaning. That's the southeast, remember? We got a stressed tree, we got a cove. Remember we was working on that the other day when we seen those other funguses? Yeah, I don't see any more. But yeah, that's the tree right there, bud. Look up there at the top. Golly, there's a whole bunch of them. But I got a couple good handfuls. We'll leave them on there. We'll come back in a little bit and harvest some more, but I can't reach that. I'm just too short. All right, I thought what I'd do is, uh, oh, you know how I do it. Rude, crude, and unacceptable all up, all up in your face. Okay, so this is, it's January, third week in January 2016. So, uh, and it's been freezing for the last two weeks, below zero and snowing. And, but apparently these were making it. Because of the cold weather, they're preserved. See, here's some old ones. When they start to uh, decay. And rot. See? But yeah, that is a... Definitely looks like a pleurothus of some sort. It's not orange like a jack-o'-lantern. Most of the time, jack-o'-lanterns grow on the ground. Around the stump. I ate one, we'll find out in a minute. That definitely looks like an oyster. Yeah, cause see that, that's that's oyster action. Jack, I don't, ain't no way. See the gill, little striations and gills and stuff? Those are feathers actually. I don't see any more though. That looks like about it. Let's see if we can find some neighbors. Usually where there's one, there's another one. Okay, here's what the tree looks like from a distance. Notice, I'm assuming what I've seen a lot of the funguses start to grow is the tree starts to stress. You know, when it when it does this, I guess in the sap, some of the sap or it cracks somewhere along the uh, tree. And then, uh, but there's a, there's some way the hell up there. So, but notice my location, and uh, there's the sun, the sun rises this way, and it does, it is creating a cove, and most of the funguses are on this side of the tree in the cove. So yeah, it prefers shade, not direct sunlight, and that tree apparently is the perfect meal. And what's cool about winter is that they uh, it preserves the uh, funguses. So yeah, see this tree was covered in them. I missed it. I missed it when it was probably popping off because I don't come over here very often. I did walk this over here when I was doing chanterelles, but I didn't see any. So see how all these uh, different types of uh, you know trees we got and downed logs and things like that. Most of the trees here, what they'll do is they'll die standing straight up and down. So, what I do is I walk around and I look on them. I don't usually mess with floor fungi at all. <laughs> I, I, I just shy away from that. If it's up in the air, on the tree, I, I usually do better. See, like that. I mean, that would be, you know, that would, 
that's definitely a good find, especially in the winter time when you're looking for wild edibles in the winter. So we're gonna walk around, see if we can find some more. I'll come back here in a little while. Cause when it starts to get spring and it starts raining, that's gonna turn to mush. It might grow back another uh, flush or two on it. So we're definitely keeping the tabs on it. Okay, and as you can see over here, the next door neighbor is the uh, our friend the oyster. No, not the oyster oysters. This is actually called the uh, Steria Asturias. Basically, it's what we had the other day. The, remember the false turkey tails? But they were damn good in the stew. I cooked them in there and let them soak for a couple days as I boiled them. They taste just like smoked beef jerky. You guys think I'm joking about that, but they taste just like smoked beef jerky. And uh, see the back? Went over that once already. Let's see, this is a neighbor tree. So we got, if you see one, you'll see the other. And there's the uh, actual, what they call oysters, but we don't call them that here. That's what they call them, but that's what we're used to calling a tree oyster. <laughs> we call these paper oysters. And so we just basically, like I said, we just call it tree meat because that's what it is, meat that grows on a tree. So we just come out here and pick all these funguses off the side of the tree and hope like hell you don't get, you know. See, look, here's some on the side of this one. All in the same spot, probably because there's no actual human intervention here other than the highway. But that's what we're looking for. That's a good find. And I just put it in my pocket. And of course, I didn't bring my gleaning bag as usual. But I thought that was pretty cool. Just walk out here and see all that still on the tree. That would have came in handy last night. I was kind of hungry. <laughs>